Whoa. Haha, <laughs> I'm back again, and look, I'm still in a dressing gown. I said it, I think, two videos ago. Two videos ago, I was recording my Killing Eve penultimate episode of season one, and I said I am never going to wear anything but a dressing gown again. Maybe it wasn't in those words, but I definitely said something like that. And look at me, I'm still in a dressing gown. Huh. I, I genuinely don't think I'm ever gonna wear normal clothes for a video ever again. I just do not believe in it. It's against my rules now. I don't even think I brushed my hair today. We're going reckless and I like it. It's really in the way, okay. All right, how are we? How are we doing? Um, if you're new to this channel, then hi, welcome, nice to see you. And if you are returning, good to have you back, my dude. So today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be watching Eighth Grade, directed by Bo Burnham, written by Bo Burnham. I'm not actually positive. You know, Bo Burnham is, it's a name that I hear a lot, but actually, I, I, I don't, ever think I've watched a Bo Burnham film. I don't know if there are loads, I don't know if there aren't loads. All I know, I have not watched this film yet and there is a reason for that and that reason is because when I saw the trailer in cinemas, I remember, like, I remember the trailer popping up every single time we went to see a movie and I just was not interested. I don't know, I think perhaps it's the whole coming of age trope that I passed at this point, you know? I thought, oh, this just seems like another one of those films. Like, it, it's just another version of the same story. A story that no longer relates to my life really at all. And I remember almost being nervous about how raw it looked. So I think that actually that's a good sign because I like to be challenged, especially during lockdown. I have been trying to challenge myself in many ways with what I watch on TV or film or whatever. And so I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to watch this film and go at it with an open mind because I definitely judged it before really knowing anything about it. So I suppose we'll see. I, I know that like, I mean, a lot of people like this film. So I'm sure that I will be impressed by it. Whether I will actually enjoy it for myself is another question that we will come to, I suppose. Oh, I got water on my laptop. How did that get there? I saw this TikTok that was like, oh, does anyone else make that noise when they have a scratch between their ear and their throat and they can't scratch it and then they make that noise? I knew it wasn't just me that made that noise. Like I wasn't so egocentric to think that I was the only person in the world who made that noise, but my parents hate it. Like they really hate it. Like really hate it. I don't think it's that bad of a sound, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, it's an A24 movie. I didn't realize that. I wonder how much people who've written those jingles make. Hey guys, I haven't been getting like a lot of views or whatever on my videos. Uh oh, so it's me. You can share like with your friends and stuff. I would really, really appreciate it. Oh. You know, well, aren't I always being myself? Uh, and like, yeah, for sure. Oh my God, these are the videos I used to make when I was this age. Also like I'm making one now. Like uh, you could be the most popular kid at school or like, you know, like, um... My mum always used to get so annoyed with me with how much I said like. If I said it this much, fair enough. People suck, and evil people exist. Preach! Um, I'm not, like, quiet. I just choose not to talk a lot at school. Like other people, you know? Um, yeah, I was one of those ones who talked okay, all so the yeah. time, so... Uh, um, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is so accurate! Gucci! That was unbelievably accurate. Look at that setup she's got going on, better than mine. The first thing I like to do is set up a moisturizer. Yeah, no, I never, I never wore makeup, especially not at this age. Maybe like a little bit of mascara when I was 15, but that was... When is this set? Is this like now now? Like is this eighth graders, when was this released, 2018? Because this is like me when I was that age. I thought the eighth graders nowadays were like more mature than I was when I was that age. I mean obviously it depends on the person, but um, in general. Kids grow up faster, you know? I'm saying this as if I'm ancient. I was literally born in 2000. Oh. We will begin to explore. Don't say it. And understand 
The worst. The worst. She said lit. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean by it being raw. And I was nervous about it. But good. I'm glad. Ah! I just got mascara in my eye. This is why I don't wear makeup. I hate it. The thing about makeup is I remember in like year eight or nine or maybe even seven when people found makeup. And they were like, wow, this is a really fun thing to do. It's a way that I can express myself on my face. I didn't get that. I found it boring. I found it hard work and I didn't like it. Is it gone? Ugh. Well, now my face is wonky. I also want to take this opportunity to say that my middle school, I mean, in England, we don't have middle school, but my middle school years, like my experience during those years wasn't exactly conventional because I didn't, I didn't feel the same pressures that kids that age do or did or whatever because I'm unique, we'll say unique. Um, I never really cared about social pressures. I, I didn't feel them. Instead, I was having hallucinations and thought there was a man following me around school making things die. I'm better now, I'm fine. But uh, yeah, so I mean, while watching this, obviously, I think that I was aware of what the struggles that other kids were going through that I was not going through. Like I was aware of them, but I think this might delve deeper into them than I've ever really gone. So that would be interesting. Next week is your last week here at Miles Grove Middle School. Project. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right, well that clears up when this is set. This is Rose. I love how the caption was sparse clapping, but it's just him clapping. Most quiet. Oh no, it's gonna be her. And Kayla Day. Oh, I got most musical in high school. Not a big deal. <laughs> Congratulations, superlative winners. Oh my lord, right, no, very much clears up when this is set. Jesus. Oh good lord. Good job. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, he seems cute. Oh no, when she has a crush. I, ugh. Oh, and that's what she wrote to herself. Adorable. Oh God, I tell you, it is depressing how much sadder you get from like the age of 11 to 14. For multiple reasons. I mean, different things hit you, but. Why is SpongeBob significant? I'm sure we'll learn. Oh my God, look at that. What do they call that? A rat? A rat's tail? What, what do they call that? And why does he have one? It's just not what you expect from a middle school band teacher, is it? Proof through the night that my flag was still there. Oh, look at her go. Oh, I Enough, enough. I went to American high school, okay, for two years. I had to listen to that every day. I mean, I'm preaching this to America, like, if you're watching this and you're from America, like, you know. But seriously, it's weird. That's best, that's best eyes. Kennedy will invite you on Facebook, right Kennedy? Everyone uses Facebook. Okay, certainly not when I was, everyone used Facebook when I was that age. See you tomorrow, say goodbye Kennedy. Bye. Bye. I don't like Kennedy. Look at that chipped nail varnish, we love to see it. I said one more week of eighth grade, right? Yeah. Does she not have a mum anymore? Or, I mean, are they just divorced? Or is she dead? I have a feeling she's dead. And I feel like Spongebob had something to do with her. It's just being funny. Dad, no, it's not funny. You're the only one that thinks it's funny. Oh, Kayla going hard. Okay. Fine, just say it. All right, all right, okay. Okay. Are you gonna say I'm it? I think <laughs> I think you're so cool. Uh, no. I think you were so. I'm cool. gonna stop when eating was, with hey, you if you I'm keep doing one, this. You said I could say one thing. This is not the right thing to say. Look, when I was your age, I was not cool like you. Oh god. I'm sorry. Dad, this, I would. Dad, this is more just, than one I, thing. It's a, it's a chunk of things. Uh, a chunk like, of things. Chunk of things. Yeah, that that wasn't fun. That would have annoyed the hell out of me. It's like, oh, you think I'm cool? You think oh, you're my father? Your opinion means nothing. You have to love me. You birthed me. Turn away, turn away, turn 
away. One view. No views two weeks ago. Oh, that is tough. <gasps> it's Kennedy. Oh, Jesus Christ. She sucks. Why do you even follow her? Is he nice at least? <laughs> Look at that tiny muscle. Uh, smooth. <laughs> I'm just going to bed. Okay. I mean, she threw it across the room. That was commitment. Next time, can you please knock? Yeah, sure, sorry. I mean, I did. He's trying. He is trying. God, teenagers are impossible. Being one, living with one, they suck. <gasps> oh wow, she smashed it. Why did she throw it? Why would I want to go somewhere like that? People might not know like the real you. I think she's very correct. I think she's very brave for doing this. I really do. Party you or the weekend you, all the yous that make up the real you. That's pretty good, pretty good. You know, I didn't really want to invite her because um, at school she was just always weird, so I didn't like her. Burn. This is going on the internet. Wait, is this her? Oh, 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 I get it, I get it. She's the girl. She's the weird girl at school, right? Okay, uh, ho ho yeah. hopefully some of you guys- I love the blurs in the middle of the video. If I was this socially anxious, there's no chance I would do this, you know? Like, this is brave. Especially a pool party where you have to put on a swimming costume. Jesus. Does she have no friends at school? Like, she's gotta have someone, right? Maybe not at this party, because this is clearly like the popular kids or whatever. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is a horror movie. Head up, my friend, head up. Walk down there, confident stride. Fake it till you make it, honestly. You just have to fake confidence. Then you are, th that's basically what confidence is. Like, this is so awkward. Is she just gonna be there by herself? <laughs> Oh, look at his, look at his armpit hair. Oh my God, it was like tiny. It was like a little patch. You wanna see me do a handstand? Uh. Who's this dude? He's the only one I respect so far, apart from her. That's cool, she's my cousin. Oh, that makes sense. Is that all you got? What's that? What was that about? Let's all get in together. This is the worst Great. thing I've ever Great. seen. Uh, wait, Kayla, I can't see you, sweetie. Come up front. Oh no. Okay. And oh, it's the thumb! The crooked thumb! Oh no, and she's being all nice, even though this girl is horrible to her. From Kayla. She's right over there. Ugh, I hate this girl. It's like Go Fish, except like a lot more fun. <laughs> okay, this one's from Julia. Imagine, okay, sorry, your daughter responds to a gift in that way, and you just are like, okay, next one. I would slap her! Oof. You need to get that screen fixed. I mean, you shouldn't have chucked it in the first place. <gasps> Just grab my phone, how to charge it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I charge it too. But my, my phone, I... This is not good. Too. Stop talking. Okay. Oh, good lord. Oh no. That just absolutely didn't help her cause at all. One thing a lot of people think about confidence is that, like, you know, you're born with it. Confidence is a choice. She's right. You can just start acting like it, even if you feel like you don't have any. What I was saying! So then I just kind of started acting like it, and then it made me feel good, and then I actually started being confident. Uh-huh. That's it. She's nailed it. By Joe, she's got it. You can't be brave unless you're scared. So, a big part of confidence to be scared. Oh my god! This girl is so wise! I want to know if she's good at singing. Thanks for watching! Gucci! My ending of every single video used to be peace out, dude, so yeah. I want to see an interview with this actress because she, it's like all very self-aware of like her age. I mean, I don't know how old she actually is, but around that age. So I want to know if she is like very mature and self-aware or if she's kind of like this in real life. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, Aww. B boyfriend be sexy. Oh my, too young for that. Thanks for inviting me to your party. Uh, no problem. Oh! I wrote this like letter for you and whatever. Uh, so if you want to have it, it's like a thank you. It's a tiny letter. Also, she's supposed to write you a thank you letter for the present. Hey, well, uh, thanks for talking to me, you guys. Um, 
Catch you later. Oh no, this is awful. This girl is a great actor. <laughs> oh no, uh, she's so proud of herself for that one interaction. I mean, she should be. I mean, that was brave and they suck. Bang dead. Bang dead. What is happening here? Hey, how about let's giving it up for the uh, volunteers from the drama club. What do you say? Why did I think they were doing like a drill for like a school shooting? It's like, this is what not to do. And what are we supposed to do in that situation? Run in the opposite direction. Oh, it is, it is. Was an example of what not to do, okay? Ew! Oh my God, I hate boys! Oh! He's a dick. He dumped Chelsea because she wouldn't send him naked pictures. Uh, also he's disgusting. Isn't it just absurd that American schools have to do these types of drills? Unbelievable. Wow. Rebel. Oh my god. How bold. Are you excited for high school? Yeah, it should be cool. This is not a casual conversation. You can't crawl over to someone's desk and then expect to have a casual conversation. You ever think there'd be a real shooting here? I wish. Oh no. Because I'd fuck him up. Take his gun. Elbow him right in the jaw. I wouldn't be a pussy and sin under my desk. I hope for your sake that there is no school shooting. Also, I don't like that he used the P word. Not a fan of that. And I ended up pulling up my dirty photos folder and... Oh my god. Well, I mean, I don't really have one right now, but you know, like, I'm saving some dirty photos. Oh my god, this is, this is awful. You good blowjobs? <gasps> They're like 14! Hey, Ma. Kayla, how'd you get over there? Over where? There. Where? There. How'd you get over there? What are we talking about? I do, and I'm like really good at them. Oh. My lord. Ah! No, don't search it. Oh my god. No, this isn't okay. This isn't okay. Oh my god. Oh God, no. Say no, say no, say no. I can't even believe she brought up the idea of dirty photos, like. Ah, no. Okay, but is this like too far? Like, is this realistic? Does this happen at this age nowadays? Like, really? I mean, at least unwrap it. What are you, some sort of animal? Right, she didn't throw the banana over like the kitchen, did she? Why did she have to do that with her phone? I still don't understand. You got all angry at me and you said, you hate bananas and I always forget that you hate bananas. And Classic, my dad always forgets what I like and dislike. Bananas are kind of gross. I like banana flavor, like banana cake, banana bread, everything, but uh, just I don't like the actual texture. Why am I telling you this? You don't care. Fine, I don't like bananas, okay? <laughs> God, I'm so glad I'm never gonna be a parent. Just you know, you don't need to like worry about me anymore because I'm actually doing really great right now and my life is really amazing. Oh, uh, is it? It is interesting how people develop socially. Do you know what I mean? Like she genuinely doesn't understand the ways of, I mean, she's wise though. Those videos that she's doing, I think are pretty good, but she doesn't understand the right way to go about getting what she wants. Oh, now she's praying. Yeah, this certainly isn't the right way to go around it. Thank you. Love. Kayla. Not even signing it off with an amen. I feel like she probably, like, her family just isn't even religious and she's just, like, going to her last resort, which is even funnier. You're not, repeat, not to leave their side. Can you imagine having an eighth grader follow you around as a high school student? That'd be so annoying. <laughs> oh my god! Why are they walking so slowly? Hey, um, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm gonna hug you. Okay. Aww! I like Olivia. Okay, you're so cute. Okay, let's go. Let's okay. do this. Okay. Oh! Do you have any questions for me? No, no I'm fine. I mean, well... Like, even the way she moves her arms is the way that an awkward 8th grader moves their arms. High school is a lot different than middle school because middle school is like... Middle school is like in the middle. She's not wrong. Everyone is a lot younger than high schoolers. Also not wrong. I mean, I used to be afraid of growing up and then I realized that it's going to make everything better and now I can't wait to grow up. Oh! And she had a good day, exactly like she wanted. That's so good. Is she gonna text her, like, immediately? Oh my god, she's calling? That is so bold. Like, who calls? True. Olivia, preach. Thanks for letting me, like, call you and stuff, because I wasn't sure if I... Letting you know, me. Like, you know, weird or not. I mean, it is no, weird. No, 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 not weird at all. I, but it is weird. Just awesome to be able to, be able to like, 
you know, talk to someone. Like that stuff that she just did to ball to be able, like that is, is she acting? I can't tell. It's so good. I don't know, you've just been so nice to me and you're just, I think, I think that makes you pretty cool. I love this pacing also, this pacing is great. Me and some friends are heading to the mall to just like hang if you feel like you want to come. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, say yes! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, don't freak out first, say yes first. Okay, see ya. Okay, see you. Bye. okay, bye. Right, I'm not being funny, but Olivia is the best human being on this planet. Like, if I just hung out with an eighth grader all day and then they called me, first of all, I probably wouldn't have picked up. I would have been weirded out. I'm just saying this like candidly, like that's what I would have done. And now you don't need Aiden. Like, he's gross and he wants things from you that you don't want to give. You just want to give them to him because you think that that's what he wants. Just like ditch that whole idea, I hope. I hope that's what happens. Yeah. You can look at the road, Dad. I obviously didn't mean that. Just like, don't be weird and quiet while you do it. <laughs> God, it's so tough. I look over at you and I think you're about to drive us into a tree or something and then I get really freaked out. <laughs> oh, like God. I love the way that he's making this walk so long because it's like just, I, I mean, obviously it's showing her how this walk, it probably isn't that long of a walk, but the walk there while you're walking there and it's silent and you have nothing to think about, all these thoughts are going around her head. How should I act? What will it be like? All these things. We have a triathlon for a kid that died two years ago? Oh I don't get you're why like, everyone has to act like they're his so best cool. friend. Okay, actually, sorry. I just want to talk about what that conversation was about. Yeah in terms of kids who die in school, obviously, it's like super serious matter. And I'm thinking specifically suicide, which obviously is even more serious because, I mean, it's difficult to deal with mental health in the right way, schools to deal with mental health in the right way. There's only so much anyone can do. However, with kids who have committed suicide, in my experience at least, at school, the kid is glorified events happen for them each year or pictures go up about them around school. Not in a way of let's educate the students and talk to them about this and say, okay, mental health is important. Try and help the students with what they might be struggling with. There's none of that. Literally no awareness really, maybe like a smidgen of awareness, but most of it is glorifying the kid who died which I just think is so dangerous because then it's like, well, if I was a kid who was struggling, who had bad mental health, who felt that no one cared about them or loved them and was seeing all of this attention that this person who previously didn't get this attention is now getting, I, I mean, I would think, oh, well, that seems like a good way to get attention, you know? Like, I think it's so not right how people deal or schools deal with suicide. I mean, I don't know about this person. I don't know if this person died from whatever, but I still think, I think it's odd how dead kids are glorified. Anyway, back to the film. So he DM'd me the other day, right? It's literally just a picture of just my feet. Ugh, weird. He was just trying to flirt with you. He was being nice. <laughs> trying to flirt? What? Why am I being yelled at? This is yelling to you? No, this is an adult tone. This is the volume that adults you. Truly. This just shows how quickly, like, girls mature than boys in high school. She's not a different generation. Yeah, she is. She's four years younger than us. Four years? Wait, so were kids like sending each other like nudes in like fifth grade? No, like, okay, that is a weird know, question. Oh weird. man. Stop. Like, like, Let's stop this. Let's stop this now. Jesus Christ, fine. I don't like Trevor. Why are they friends with him? But some creepy ass dude has been staring at us for so long. Oh. <gasps> is it? Is it her dad? It's her dad. It's her dad. Oh no. Why is he there? I mean, he really isn't helping things. I guess actually you would be concerned, wouldn't you? Like you have no idea who these friends are and they've popped out of nowhere. I didn't mean to spy on you. Well, you did. That's a lie. Take this and get yourself like a pretzel or something. God, he is trying his goddamn best. Like the way she walks is awkward. How does she do that? How does she do that? Is she just like that in real life? I don't think so, right? I mean. Yeah, but it's late, we should get her home. No, it's fine. I love Olivia. I really love Olivia. You're awesome. You rule. You're great. Bye. Uh, night. Like, she is exactly what Kayla needed, and she has no idea. It's kind of awkward talking when you're in the backseat. <laughs> yeah. I hope nothing weird happens. I don't think it will, right? Should I get in the front? No, oh, no, 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 no. It's all good. What? You excited about next year? <laughs> yeah. This is really weird. Truth or dare? 
What? True. Uh, it's gonna be something super personal and weird. Uh, how far have you gone? N knew it. I don't know, I'd say like... She's gonna lie. Third base. Yeah, sorry, just kidding. I mean, <laughs> you know, choose or dare. I'll take dare. Oh god. Yeah. I dare you to drive me home. I could take my shirt off. That, that's fine. Fuck, I feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, you suggested it! Truth or dare. She's gonna pick dare and it's gonna be bad. Truth. Oh, okay. Good. Stick with truth. Oh no. Take your shirt off. I'm not super comfortable with that. Well, do you think I'm comfortable right now? You bloody suggested it for yourself! Take your shirt off. No! Sorry. <laughs> no. No, don't say sorry. Do not apologize. I'm really sorry. Fine. Oh my god. Oh, she's apologizing still. You know, and now you're gonna have your first hook up with some asshole at a party and you're not gonna be good at it and he's gonna tell all his friends about it. This guy is disgusting. You. I was trying to help you, okay? Oh my god. I need him to shut his mouth. I'm ready to fight. You should tell Olivia about this and she shouldn't be friends with him anymore. I'm making this video to just kind of say that I'm not gonna be making videos anymore. Oh no! Sorry if this is like a bummer to you. It's a bummer to me. It's, I'm really like nervous all the time. We all are. That's okay. Butterflies in your stomach feeling you get like I get that all the time and then I never get the feeling of after you ride the roller coaster. See that is a thing that I never experienced. Sure. That social anxiety. I'm fortunate enough. I have many other anxieties but social anxiety is not one of them. Who is this? I don't trust them. Oh! Oh! It's the cousin. It's Kennedy's cousin, yes? Who she's like doesn't deem worthy perhaps? Like why is she not responding? Because she thought it was someone cool. Is she just as superficial as everyone else? Oh! Oh! That was a shock! Did anyone else see that coming? I didn't... I'm about to have my first middle school weekend. Oh god. Uh, what's the coolest thing you've done? Or the second coolest thing you've done? She's better at putting a sentence together when she's a sixth grader than she is as an eighth grader. Which just shows that it's like a confidence thing, right? Not being able to put a sentence together and being unsure of yourself and hesitant and thinking you're stupid or whatever. You just gotta have that child naivety. Not even, sorry, not even naivety, just like blind confidence in yourself. Because if you have blind confidence, like she said, just to act confident in your confidence is easy Well, to me. I understand that it's not for everyone. Would that work? What was in there? Just sort of my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Damn! I love how dramatic middle schoolers are. I never grew out of that though. I think if she turned out like me, being her mom would make me really sad. What? What? Why? Would she think that? You don't know how, how happy you make me. Oh, he's so cute. You're so easy to love you. Oh, that is so cute. I am always just so unbelievably happy that I get to be your dad. This guy, my lord. Dad of the year award. Like, he's great. Like when mom left, I was really scared. Oh, she left. I was gonna say, when are they gonna dress the mom thing? I stopped being scared about whether you were gonna be okay a long time ago because of you. You made me brave. Ugh, oh, whoa. And if you could just see yourself how I see you, I swear to God, you wouldn't be scared either. God, this is a... Genius speech. Like, for all the wrong things he's said, for all the wrong things that he's done, this nailed it. Nailed it. Good job. Where on earth is she going? See, she makes a... Oh. Hey, and you know what? You're, you're always mean to me. And I'm Preach. Nice to you. When someone does something nice to you, you're supposed to be nice back. Uh-huh. You're always mean. And also, that card game I got you is like a really fun version of Go Fish. <laughs> <laughs> And you know that if you stop trying to be cool all the time, it... <laughs> she ducked out of there. Good job. I mean, a little bit of eye contact would be nice, but yeah. But, you know, if you have a favorite sauce and want, want the one packet of it, you can have mine. I like all the sauces equally. He's cute. He looks kind of disproportioned. I don't know what you mean. The, his head just looks a little bit big. Again, this kid perfectly encapsulates an awkward... I left this out by accident. Sorry, it's so stupid. You want to see it? No, wait. No, it's stupid. Uh, yeah, an awkward middle school boy. Like, this is an awkward middle school boy. Is he acting? I don't know. You know, they gave him the sharpshooter of the week award. Like that? It's stupid. Why? This is what they all do. Oops. Like a married couple. Do you believe in God? Starting deep? 
That's what I like. You're really smart about stuff. Like you know a lot of things. Yeah, she does. We gotta, we gotta get, the, we gotta get it, Morty. Come on, Morty. Come on. That's a pretty good impression. <laughs> you are awesome. Oh. Oh yay! She's doing her videos. Hey, Kayla. Um. Oh. It's not cute. Making another one. Okay. She's got the sauce. Do you have a boyfriend? He should be treating you well because you deserve it. Yes, he should. See, she's so wise. She's learning. But if high school sucked for you. I'm moving forward, and you can do that too with high school. True. Yeah, school is a blip. Stay cool, and I can't wait to be you. Oh, Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> is that it? <gasps> oh my god. That was really good. <laughs> that, I mean, wow. <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, I think that that was perfect. I really do. I think that it was a perfect encapsulation of the horrors of middle school, you know? So, okay, I know I'm, I bring this up in literally every single video I make and I hate that I'm like becoming defined by this because I didn't, I, okay, so I, I am autistic. So it's interesting to watch this from my perspective being that my autism helps me, helped me, continues to help me in a way that I, d I don't care what people think about me. I never have, I never will. Social pressures, like I said at the beginning, I don't feel them. So, you know, what was socially acceptable wasn't. Basically, none of that mattered to me. I just did what I wanted to do and didn't care about the repercussions or what people thought. And that actually, that helped me a lot because it meant that I acted confidently, you know? I certainly, I wouldn't consider myself confident because I think the word confident implies that you feel good about yourself. I certainly did not feel good about myself, but I didn't care. Like, I just was like, oh, whatever. I mean, that that's a good thing, but then the, you know, some of the conversation things actually are very similar to those with social anxiety, I think. So those with social anxiety will be practicing conversations in their head. Struggle struggle with eye contact. I struggled with eye contact so much when I was younger, but it wasn't because I, I was nervous about talking to the person, it was because I was just so distracted by looking at someone's face. I don't know if any other autistic people relate to this, but when I looked at someone's face, I did not know where to look. Like It was so hard for me to concentrate on what they were saying and also look at their face. I mean, that's similarity. And like I said, the similarity of practicing conversations. People with social anxiety do it because they're nervous. And I did it because it was, it was my way of learning to mimic people, you know? It, it was a bit more black and white for me. I didn't meld, like my brain didn't just adapt easily and like pick up what other people were doing and then I, that didn't happen for me. So I had to manually do it. I had to manually practice and be normal, you know? Masking, that's what it's called. So yeah, now that's out of the way, let's, let's, let's talk about it. This film, the acting was incredible. Elsie Fisher, that's her name, yes? She played Kayla. Wow, she did an incredible job and I would love to watch some interviews because I need to know if she is this kind of awkward middle schooler in real life. I also wanna know how they made, like how he developed the film into what it was because it was wildly accurate. And when I say wildly accurate, I'm not really talking about the storyline necessarily because I think a lot of things that happened were quite far-fetched, like the whole blowjob thing and the senior or junior in high school hitting on the eighth grader. I mean, I am sure those things do happen, but in a week, like it was a lot to handle. Uh, my point is, is what I thought was accurate was the vibe, the energy that the characters were giving off and the way conversations flowed. And I thought that the characters were very realistic, particularly the dad and of course Kayla. I would love to do some research into how he developed this film, who he talked to. It almost seems like they created it together. I'm sure that that wasn't the case, but it almost seems like she was a part of like, these are my experiences, and then they just built the film together. All right, so my camera just died two seconds before I was done with the video. I mean, here's the thing. I don't wanna to talk too much about, I, I, I honestly, I don't know what to say because I think it's evident why it's so brilliant. Olivia's character did confuse me because she's great, but she hangs out with a couple of jerks, being the guys, but then she invited an eighth grader to hang out with them, which was amazing of her. Like she doesn't understand, maybe maybe she truly was Kayla in middle school. You know, she said that she didn't figure it out until high school. Maybe, you know, she remembers that and thought, okay, well, I'm gonna reach out to her because that's what I would have wanted at that time. I think it's difficult. You know, when people say, oh, if I could go back to myself and like tell myself one thing, I think it's much easier said than done. 
because Olivia was telling Kayla the things that she needed to hear. And I know that it's not Kayla herself, like I can imagine it's more comforting. Your future self coming to you and being like, you're gonna be fine, don't worry about it. But she was telling her what she needed to hear, yet it, it didn't cure all, you know? And I mean, nothing will, like she's, oh God, Kayla's smart, I like Kayla. She was sweet, smart, empathetic. That's the thing, when the dad started talking about how great of a kid she was, like deep down, like she was a nice, kind person. I think that is something to be cherished. I've always wanted to be kinder. Sorry, we're getting really deep now, but my point is that she is awesome, you know? And she kept trying to like, oh, it's cringy that my sixth grade self told me that. And then she wrote it on the box for her. I just love the fact that she is learning to own that again. Learning to own the fact that she is awesome because that's, that's where it all starts, is believing in yourself, is trusting your gut. And the fact that she stood up to the mean girl at the end just proves that she is getting there because she knew, she knew, she was like, hold on, I don't deserve to be treated this way. I usually have a lot to say after films, but this one I don't really. I think it's all been said for me in this film. I thought it was so well done. It wasn't, it, and that's what makes it so good, you know? It wasn't that complex of a film. It was quite simple, but the way that the simplicity was achieved was difficult to do. You know, that was the complex part, was getting to that stage. But once the audience are able to see it on screen and it's so digestible and so goddamn realistic, like it's, uh, the film does all the talking for me. So I will love you and leave you. If you enjoyed, <laughs> subscribe. I now feel like Kayla making her videos. Oh my God. <laughs> do all the stuff, you know what to do. And I will see you very soon with another video. Gucci. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, even just doing it like for, Peace out dudes, alright, bye.